we're going to look at the Krebs cycle. And the Krebs cycle becomes very important because it, the Krebs cycle is really where we start generating things like ATP that are then used or the various chelates that are important for the electron transport system. So let's take a look at this. We are going to start with the formation of acetyl-CoA, and then we're going to progress into the Krebs cycle. All of this starts with pyruvic acid that came out of glycolysis. Pyruvic acid, again, is a three-carbon sugar, so it is a very interesting material. The pyruvic acid gets picked up by an enzyme called pyruvate dehydrogenase, which releases carbon dioxide off of it, and takes it and generates an NADH. That resultant product is then going to be what we call acetyl-CoA. Since we have the release of the carbon dioxide, this reaction is irreversible, and since it is irreversible, we do not have any way to go back here. That doesn't mean we can't take the acetyl-CoA and build up other things and get behind this, but this reaction itself is not reversible. Now, the acetyl-CoA is going to combine with a molecule of oxaloacetate, which is a four carbon hydrocarbon, looks like that. There is an enzyme called citrate synthase, which is going to take this and create from that citric acid. As it does this, we get the release of the CoA, which can then go back and pick up another pyruvic acid. The citric acid, six carbon, hydrocarbon, so therefore we have got here a stable intermediate citric acid we will remember is vitamin C, therefore is of extreme importance. The next step is where water is removed, water is put back in, we've got a enzyme called a contase, this is going to form isocitric acid. You can see that there is a slight difference in here. Basically what has happened is we've gotten the hydroxyl unit up on the top over here moved so it goes from the third carbon to the second. Next we have isocitric acid dehydrogenase which is going to take the hydrogen off. It's going to hydrogenate NAD to NADH and at the same time we're going to get a carbon dioxide driven off. As the carbon dioxide is driven off, we get the formation of alpha ketoglutaric acid. This is a five carbon unit, and this becomes very important because we will see that this is also a precursor of other molecules in other pathways. The alpha ketoglutaric acid then undergoes a reaction using the al enzyme alpha ketoglutaric acid dehydrogenase, which uses a CoA. It again takes NAD and forms NADH from it and we release off a of carbon dioxide. So now we are down two carbons and we come up with a material called succinyl-CoA. Succinyl-CoA is going to pull in ADP, going to get the formation of ATP out of it. The enzyme that does this is called succinyl-CoA synthase. This is going to take that CoA and release it back up. So we get recycling of the CoA out of this. The molecule that is then formed is succinic acid. Again, we're down to four carbons, and we've already generated quite a few other materials in here. The succinic acid goes through a process using an enzyme called succinic acid dehydrogenase, which is going to pull in an FAD, and out of that we're going to get the production of FADH. This is going to produce fumaric acid. Fumaric acid, we can see, has a double bond in the middle, and that's where we got the two hydrogens for the FAD from. They came out of the two center carbons in the succinic acid. Next step is fumarase. The enzyme pulls in water, and as it does that, it creates malic acid. Malic acid is an acid we're going to talk about a lot in plant biochemistry because it's got four carbons, and it is a place that we can use to store things in. And we're going to see that when we get into photosynthesis. Malic acid then undergoes a process using an enzyme called malic acid dehydrogenase. And as we do this, we take an NAD and we create an NADH, and the resultant material is oxaloacetic acid. So we are back where we started from. We call this the citric acid cycle, or the Krebs cycle. 
Krebs cycle because he was the one who first discovered it, citric acid cycle because citric acid is the first stable intermediate. But you can see it as a cycle because we started out with a molecule and we came back to that original molecule. What we did do is we generated carbon dioxide, which was released off, and we generated NADH and FADH2. And the NADH and the FADH2 then are going to go into the electron transport system. 